Welcome to the world of a business now. Unscrupulous business people could be fueling the high food prices in sub-Saharan Africa by engaging in price gagging. This is according to the Comesa Competition Commission that is engaging policymakers to address the issue. Rising food prices are a key driver of inflation in sub-Saharan Africa, which has a disproportionate impact on poorer households. Climate change has led to food scarcity and Comesa is alarmed that traders are practicing price gouging that is pushing food prices up. Agric markets are simply not working well. We have traders who are benefiting from this situation, who are suppressing farmer prices so that they buy at a, uh, a low price. Uh, and then price goods and sell at a very high price to consumers. And that exacerbates poverty in that the, the farmer gets a lower a price. He has no incentive to produce next year. The Comesa Competition Commission met diplomats in Zambia representing Comesa member states to push for policy changes in the region to deter restrictive practices. They are talking about inflation. They say average inflation in the commercial region is about 24.2%. The bigger part of that average is on food and non-alcoholic beverages, 23.3%. The rest fall below that. So food has become a problem everywhere. And competition policy and law, as we have assembled here today, should play a part in ensuring that we address uh, this rise in food uh, inflation. Comesa Secretary General Chileshe Mpundu Kapwepwe said that with over 80% of Africa's population depending on agriculture, concerted effort is required to ensure enforcement of competition law to address food inflation, food security and eradicate poverty. Competition policy and law plays a complementary role to the efforts of Commerce Secretariat in addressing market imperfections in our market, including agriculture sector, which may not be adequately addressed through other policy interventions and thereby contribute to the regional integration agenda. Commerce is alive to the fact that an efficient and integrated common market cannot thrive in an environment of restrictive, unequal and discriminatory business practices. So the rise in food inflation that we are seeing not just in Comesa region, uh, not just in Africa, but the world over should be tackled with concerted efforts. Betty Kiptum, Lunchtime News.